Hello, welcome to the Everton News Daily. Sean Dycheld is post-match press conference yesterday after the final game of the season ended in a 2-1 defeat to Premier League runners-up Arsenal. As Sean Dyche was asked about his thoughts on the game. This is what the manager had to say. Yeah, really pleased with um, how the mentality has improved and grown and got stronger as the season has gone on. Um, you know, I've had many knocks this season. Um, and the way the teams, uh, you know, myself as well, and the staff as well, by the way, have seen through some of the challenges, stayed true to the cause and uh, and delivered even coming here today. We're doing not, a, not an easy thing, but, you know, players, it can happen where you just relax a little bit and you can't at places like this. And I didn't think there was even a hint of that. I thought we went about the, the game properly and, and effectively for our reasons. You know, not everyone else's for our reasons as part of Everton Football Club. And I think um, our fans will have seen a team give their lot to try and win again. There you go. Uh, Everton were beaten with a controversial, my words, last-minute winner by Arsenal yesterday. I thought it was a blatant handball by Gabriel Jesus. You know, to knock the ball ahead of you into where you're running through on goal, I don't see how it could have not been given. Michael Oliver, who is a well-known um, anti-Everton, I'm going to say it. I think he is anti-Everton. He doesn't like us. We've had no decisions from him this season, even when he's been on VAR. He's given decisions against us. He's a Newcastle fan. He's bound to hate Everton. Uh, he decided to just ignore the fact he'd been sent to the screen because of the handball and give Arsenal the win in the last seconds. But the manager was asked about whether he thought it was handball. This is what Sean Dice had to say on that decision. Yeah, it's poor. I, I, I mean, we're all worried about handball. We're not quite sure where it lives. That for me is a really obvious one. Uh, they go over to the monitor. Funny how it's in a title race and it goes the other way. Says the cynical dog that I am. But anyways, at the end of the day, we're all worried about handball. We're all not sure where it lives. For me, that you know, it's a simple one. Taki gets across it, handballs it dead into his path. He runs through, and they score from it. So, you know, that one for me has got to be given. There you go. Manager agrees with me. It was handball. Uh, Sean Dyche also had a message for the Evertonians. It's been such a tough season. To be an Everton, it's been a tough season for the manager, of course, trying to manage his way through it, points, deductions, takeover and everything else, relegation battles. Uh, but the manager has been complimentary to the supporters all season and this was his message for the Blues for the summer. No, just crack on, keep doing what you do. They've been excellent. You know, they, they've, they uh, in, the, in the darkest hours this season, they've been there for us um, and it's going to be important. Not an easy easy view going forwards, I don't think. I'll wait and see. Things might change, I don't know. But I think there's a lot of challenges still to come. I think we've done a very good job of finding a balance to the situation and the truth line, as I call it, where the club's really at. I think the fans are beginning to mould in and go, all right, this is where it's at. And that's a good place to be. It's a healthy place to be when everyone knows the script. When I got here, everyone said, as you know, I'm saying, we just want the truth. I've, I've told them the truth. That's the reality. But there's a lot of good things. There's a lot of good signs out there. You can see it. Some of the young players, the way they're maturing. So there's a lot of good signs, even though it's a challenging period for Everton Football Club. But there's a lot of good signs with what we're trying to achieve and the players that are achieving it. There you go. Uh, Everton have today been linked with a move for Luton Town forward Elijah Adebayo. Uh, the 26-year-old striker has scored 10 goals this season in 27 appearances for the Hatters, only starting 16 of those games. Luton, of course, were relegated from the Premier League, and that is why the rumours have started that he will be sold. He'll obviously want to continue to stay in the Premier League. But one player who is leaving Luton Town and has strongly been linked with a move to Goodison Park, is former Toffee Ross Barkley. However, according, according to The Guardian today, uh, the midfield player will join Aston Villa. He's been spent a year on loan at Aston Villa, of course, when he was at Chelsea. Um, and he eventually moved on to, where was it, Nice, was it, in France, and then to Luton Town. But Ross have been linked with Everton last summer when he was a free agent, has been linked with Everton a few times this season, but it seems as though he is uh, moving to Aston Villa. And of course, if that is the case, we'll be playing Champions League football next season. That is it for the News Daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching um, and we'll see you soon.